Okay. No problem. Our first question is from Bree Anderson with the Express. So much, and uh, welcome back, Shane. I uh, you, you talked about 2020 being your uh, year to leap into contention. Any worry that uh, that might be complicated by the pandemic, or do you expect that now that we're back up and running, things are going to be back to business? Yeah, in the beginning of the year, I was a little worried about that, but um, I got this fight book. This is a big one, and I feel like I'll be able to squeeze in at least one more before the end of the year, so I think it'll be smooth sailing after this one. I think uh, UFC's got a well well-oiled machine, and uh, they've already. this is going to be the third Vegas show, and uh, after this one, I think they'll be able to just keep rolling them out. This is your first uh, co-main event in the UFC, so how does that feel? That's awesome. It's, uh, aside from the actual matchup that I'm excited for, I'm excited that I'm on the co-main event. And, I mean, Josh is... Uh there in the rankings you guys are pretty close together but do you think a win here could potentially uh land you maybe a top five opponent for your next one yeah, I mean, definitely could. I, I got to go out there and not just win, though. Like I've been saying all week in all my interviews, basically, I got to go out there and, and put a stamp on this one. I got to make a statement. Uh, as corny and cliche as it sounds, I got to go out there and I got to not just beat Josh Emmett, but I got to I gotta beat Josh Emmett. I got to finish him. And, uh, yeah, I, I did see you talking about uh, getting the finish. How much do you think the smaller cage will play into that? Does that create more of a, a possibility for getting that big finish? Yeah, hundred percent. It forces the action. I, I love the small cage. Um, all my career before the UFC was always in a small cage. I trained in a small cage. Um, basically, when the when the referee says go, you're fighting because it's only about ten feet between you and your opponent right off the bat. So I, I love it. And last one for me. I mean, the complicating factor for a lot of fighters heading into these events is the fact that training camp hasn't necessarily looked like normal. You've got social distancing regulations. Every state's a little different. So. What does things uh, look like for you? It's been it's been smooth sailing the entire time. Uh, when our gym, our MMA gym closed, our, our Target Shawn's headquarters closed, uh, we basically moved our training to our my, my uh, strength conditioning coach's gym. I believe elite athletic training in Monroe. Uh, moved it all there. We had mats there, so we were doing all our MMA training there, and then doing our strength conditioning there. And I basically had most of the same partners. So it it's been a, a seamless transition once the gym reopened. We were ready. All, all, all cylinders were already firing. Saturday. Thank you, bro. What am I looking at? This camera or that camera? This one, okay. I think that's all we have for you today, oh, Tim. Yes, thank you. Take that. Nice and quick. So.